everybody Anne here just sitting here on my porch having coffee with all of you and today well it's kind of an overcast day last night we had a massive massive rainstorm and it was such a blessing because both of my rain barrels well trash cans 32 gallons each are completely full any buckets or um, this ice chest thingy that I have sitting out got completely full. I keep them underneath the roof so the, the water from the roof comes off and drains into them. So gosh, you know what, if I just had a few more buckets I could line them around and I'd have tons of water. Anyhow, so that's, that's great. I'm going to be able to kind of relax a little bit on the water situation. It's not supposed to rain anymore today, but it is raining again tomorrow. So the ant situation, um, the diatomaceous earth is completely gone. <laughs> It is completely gone, so I may wait a few more days until I I use that solution or try that solution again. Um, also, many of you are suggesting boiling water. Well, that's a good suggestion, but these mounds are absolutely massive, and I'm not sure uh, whether or not a lot of these mounds that I have are connected because there's all kinds of ant trails here and there, So, and plus... Since water is such a premium for me and, um, you know, propane and wood for burning, I would have to boil an awful lot of water and use an awful lot of propane and awful lot of wood. I'm 100% off-grid, so water and energy is at a premium. I have to really kind of pick my battles with what I'm going to use for that. So, um... I think I may try the borax with sugar, make a paste, or I've even got some honey, but gosh, I don't want to waste my honey. Oh, I, it's pure raw honey from a local beekeeper back in Ohio, and um, I just love, I love the flavor of it. So I may make the, kind of like the paste with the um, borax and sugar and a little bit of water in it and see if that works. So that's an ongoing battle. Uh, as far as what I'm going to do today... Well, I think, well, one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make some phone calls to some contractors to see how much they would charge to finish out the inside of the tiny house and to properly install my wood stove because I know my limits. And just me trying to put up that screen door over there <laughs> proved to me that it, I don't think it matters how much I try. Some people are just not meant to be builders, and I think I'm one of those people at least until I observe someone else doing it correctly. I learn really well, not only by reading and, and watching YouTube videos, but seeing someone actually doing it in action. So um, I'm going to have to hire somebody, a professional, to come in here and help me get this finished. Uh, for the rest of the day, well, I know I said my garden's in, but I think I'm going to put some more things in the garden. <laughs> I swear. I love growing things. And, well, I've got a few plants that I can actually plant, so you'll get to see me do that. So, let's get going. The first thing i got to do is have breakfast. Let's see how these turned out. Ooh, yummy, yummy blueberry muffins. Let me get these out very carefully. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I can't wait. See this big tub here? Remember how I had planted the basil that's not doing so hot? And the tomatoes and these tomatoes, they're just suffering. They really are. Um, and I, I, I think it's because they got frost damage and they're just not growing. Now these over here, they still look like they might be okay, but I'm not really sure. I need to move the solar panel so they can get some more sun. So I'm going to pull these tomatoes right here, and I'm going to make this an herb garden. And these are all herbs that need to have a lot of sun. So this one corner right here gets quite a bit of sun. I just got me some basil that's already grown. I'm going to plop it down right in the middle, and I'm going to let these two other little spots grow. And then I'm going to grow sage, rosemary, and chamomile. Hopefully they all go together well because, you know what? I'm running out of space. I don't have any more buckets. I think there's one more bucket down by the street. So uh, I'm going to space these out a little bit. And this tub has plenty of depth, plenty of soil in it. So I think they'll do okay. If they don't, well, shame on me. 
This peppermint is starting to kind of come up a little bit, so that makes me happy. This was cilantro, and this corner usually gets a lot of sun too. Most of the day, this corner gets a lot of sun, and cilantro doesn't like a lot of sun, so it, it basically died off. So I'm going to plant something else there. Uh, I don't know what. Maybe I'll plant one of those other ones over there. Hmm, I don't know. Um, this is oregano, and huh, it's trying to grow but we'll just wait and see. I actually bought another oregano plant that I may plant just a little bit in here and look at the lemon balm. The lemon balm is coming up and my chives aren't doing so hot. More lemon balm is coming up in here which makes me abundantly happy and this cilantro is hanging on because this spot is kind of kind of shady but I did buy another cilantro plant so I'm going to divide this little pot because it's got several plants in it between this spot and another spot. I'll show you in a minute. Uh, this is peppermint. It's not doing so good, so I may end up planting something else there. I've got more lemon balm. Can you see that? It's coming up. I'm so happy. And chives, not doing so well. And probably because I transplanted them and you know what, they're just not doing great. Another cilantro here. I may add a little bit more to that. I don't know. I may just leave this alone. And more peppermint. It is trying, trying, trying to grow. And then this is where I planted that dill, where I had those dill seeds. And nothing's coming up yet, so who knows. If nothing comes up in another week, then I'll just put something else there. And this over here is oregano. It's not doing so great, so I think I might just divide this pot up and put half in here and half in the other one that's growing some oregano. And then I still have this little planter here. Looks like there's a little bit of lemon balm coming up here. There's some chives in the middle. They're barely hanging on. And then I think that's oregano, so who knows if that's going to keep growing or not. Uh, and nothing coming up in there. But check this out. Remember this little one that I thought I had killed? It's got new growth coming up right in the middle, so that makes me really happy. And this one is doing just fine. And let's look at the other ones. That one's doing good. It's showing some new growth up in the center there. And I haven't cut off the brown leaves yet. I just figure I'm going to leave them on. I'm not going to keep messing with these poor plants. That one's doing okay. That one's doing okay. Something new coming up in the middle. And this one just keeps multiplying. There was one. Then there was two. Now there's three others that have come up off to the side. So these are all doing really, really great. I decided to go with just three here. The sage, the basil, and the rosemary. Because I've got other plans for the chamomile. And I just went ahead and put it right here. It'll get plenty of sun. And then I planted a little bit of cilantro right there. It's partly shady there, and a little bit of cilantro there, and I just put all of the oregano right there. It was, uh, I just couldn't separate the roots safely. And remember that little bucket? <laughs> that went inside the, uh, the commode thing that I'm using for my composting toilet. I just drilled a few holes on the side down there in the bottom and I put a little soil. I need to get some more soil in there. And that is where the English thyme is going to go. So, yep, I'll show you that in a bit. So let's take a look at what's going on in these garden beds. Yep, I bought a couple pepper plants. Just one red bell pepper and, I don't know, like another big red sweet pepper of some kind. Uh, hmm. I don't like the color of that. We'll have to check out what that is. That one over there is doing fine. Um, the red cubanelles are doing good. Have to thin those out. Those are red cubanelles. Red cubanelle. And these green bell peppers. Oh, they're growing so slow. I tried to find a green bell pepper plant today just so I could plant one plant so I can get them going a little bit. But I don't know. I, I'm not going to lose faith. And then the Sweet banana peppers are over there. Um, watermelon is really not looking that good. It's trying to grow, but it's just not doing that great. 
it sustained some damage when it frosted and the Brussels sprouts are doing pretty darn good. They are definitely growing. Gonna have to thin those out too. Oh, just look, if I could separate some of these and put some of the healthy ones down in that other bed over there where the Brussels sprouts are not doing that great, that would be awesome. And then, let's see, these are butternut squash and they are doing pretty darn good. They're getting more leaves on them. So I'm glad I kind of thinned them out a little bit. Over here, just more of the same. That Brussels sprout is trying to grow a little bit. These other two are not doing good, especially that one. So I'll have to figure out something. Same weird little coloring situation going on down there with the spaghetti squash. And so, yeah, that must be what that one way in that corner is over there because it looks exactly the same. Beans are doing great. Tomatoes are doing great. And one little squash plant, eh, doing okay. And the onions are doing okay. They're, they're starting to kind of try and poke up a little bit more. So, let's see. Let's see what's going on over there. No major developments in the jalapeno bin. It does look like they're trying to grow a little bit, but just so slow. Carrots are doing good. Very good. They're doing good in the other one, too, and by the house. And this is my potato bucket. Is anything going on in my potato bucket? Whoop. Oh. What? Look at that. You think that's a potato? Oh, I'm not going to mess with it. I'm just going to let it do its thing. I'm going to leave it alone. And hopefully that is a potato plant. I would be so stoked. And then these are the red cubanelles. Well, I mean, uh, they're trying to grow a little bit. And these are two green peppers. Not doing all that great, but oh well. And this is the Japanese eggplant. And it's got a few new leaves on it, so it's doing good. And then over here is the yellow banana peppers. Yeah, they're trying to grow. They're doing pretty good over here. Gonna have to thin them out, but I'm gonna wait a little bit. And so I think what I'm gonna do, this bucket I was gonna use for soil to hill up the potatoes, but I mean, they're not gonna be needing to be hilled up for at least a couple weeks because, you know, we need to make sure that they're gonna grow. So I'm gonna plant one of the pepper plants in this bucket and then one of the other pepper plants over there somewhere. All right, what I did is I took out one of the red cubanelles, the weakest looking one, and I took out the weakest green pepper, and I just plopped that right down in the middle. So two more cubanelles over here, and I think there's four more of these green peppers. If they all grow to adulthood ever, um, I don't know that I'll leave all four in there, but we'll just, we'll just wait and see. And then the other red bell pepper, the sweet red bell pepper, I just put in that pot over there, and yep, we're done. Last but not least is my beautiful English thyme. It's thyme, right? It's not thyme. <laughs> yes, there it is in my little commode bucket that I've drilled holes in. And it likes shade, and this part is shadier over here. So hopefully all of this stuff over here will do good. I feel awesome. I've had a lot of fun planting these things today. And, well, let's just hope they all grow. I love my herb garden. And hopefully these tomatoes grow. <laughs> it's been a really, really great day today. I love planting. I love planning. Um, I've made a few phone calls, made a little leeway on the contractor situation. Um, haven't come to any decisions yet. I'm going to be talking to a lot of people. I'm very picky. You know, it just has to be done right. Like some people said, you know, especially with the stove, it's a life and death matter. If that is installed incorrectly, I could burn this entire place down and I don't want that to happen. And I don't want to damage materials by cutting them wrong or doing something wrong. And I just have no talent for it. You know, I thought it was something I could learn and maybe I could learn if somebody like worked with me who actually knew what they're doing. But, um, yeah, so I'm going to be hiring somebody who really, really knows what they're doing to help me get the inside of this, this tiny house done. And it's going to look amazing when it's done. Anyhow, good day. 
It's pretty outside. It's the sun's trying to poke out a little bit. And I'm going to make myself some dinner and sit on my porch, enjoy a cold beverage, and just chill out. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.